Hello, my Capricorns. Hello, 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 everybody. I have Tarot of the Mystical Moments for the main deck, Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. I have the Devil card, which is, it is your major, but I have to say, I almost never see the Devil card. I really don't see it very often. That is probably the, the card I see the least. And I, so I'm, I, it uh, took my breath away when I flipped the deck and there it was. Uh, three of Cups reverse over here. And that is a bit of a backstabbing energy. It's unhappy energy. It's, it's untrustworthy energy. So it's kind of like, you know, the feeling is like they don't know who they're messing with. Three of Cups reverse, four of Pentacles. There you are. And a Hermit reverse, Page of Swords reverse. It just, okay, let's see what's, oops, oops, oops. Okay, we've got the devil here, six of pentacles reverse, six of cups reverse, two sixes. Be in reverse, holy hell. Is there, an, is there another six? Nope, three plus that three is a six. I don't know, I always look for symbolism and that's wild. Six, six, and the two threes. And the devil card. It is your major, so let's let's see where we're going here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn. I feel like you've got some toxic people around you and needing to cut out. What is uh, what is the story for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn. If you are a Capricorn, know a Capricorn, feel like being a Capricorn. Cappies, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Capricorn and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. It could resonate as the main story. And Capricorn can be the cross watcher. This reading could be a, about a Capricorn or for Capricorn. Take it as it resonates. I like the messages for the Capricorns. General energy. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn. Eight of Cups, Reverse. What's influencing the Eight of Cups, Reverse? There it is. Ace of Swords. Aces and the Devil. Not very common cards. And today, Ace of Swords has been very common in all the readings. Ace of Swords is truth and clarity. It also feels like a way out of an emotional stickiness, a very toxic situation. It feels like finding a way out, finding the, you know, the way it's, it's yeah. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? Temperance reverse. Very unhappy situation. What's in the past? I feel like fi something's finally over. Eight of Swords reverse. What's on your mind? What is on the Capricorn's mind? What is on the Capricorn's mind? The Hierophant. Taking control. Being the older, you know, the wiser one. Finding a solution so this something can be put to rest. Some of you are leaving a job. It feels like something that it just something's coming to an end here. What's in the near future? What's in the near future for the Cappies? What's in the near future for the Capricorns? What's in the near future for the Capricorns? Three of Wands reverse. Give me one more card. What's in the near future for the Capricorns? What's in the near future for the Capricorns? What is in the near future for the Capricorns? Strength reverse. This feels like the let go. Three of Wands reverse can be turning your back. Strength reverse is saying, I'm no longer holding on. And as I say this, I look down, bottom of the deck, see how she's been holding it together? She could finally let something go. Something's coming to an end and it has not been a great time. And either it's a job, it's, it's some type of situation that's caused you a lot of stress. The burden's been on your back. Um, you're the one leading the ship on your mind and saying, okay, I just got to hold together a little longer. Um, but the three of wands reverse strength reverse tells me that you could finally just let it go. It's something moon reverse. Yeah. Page of page of wands going on here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. Eight of cups reverse center of the reading. Eight of cups reverse center of the reading for the Capricorns. I feel like you're finally going to be free from a situation here. Eight of Cups reverse. And Ace of Swords is finding the way out. Eight of Cups reverse. And yeah, there it is. I felt that. Six of Swords is moving on. 
finally moving on. I feel like a solution to a very big problem is finally being tied up. Moving on to, some of you might even be moving, but traveling, um, going to a better place here. What's this Ace of Swords though? Ace of Swords is the solution. What's this Ace of Swords? What's the Ace of Swords for Capricorn? Influencing energy. Yep, Six of Pentacles, money. You get it, you get it, I'm out of here. I'm done, Six of Pentacles. Money coming in. I feel like money, you guys got some relief coming in and then you can finally say goodbye to a very unhappy situation. What is the temperance reverse reason for the reading? Sagittarius. So maybe by Sagittarius time, you guys got some money coming in. Uh, temperance reverse reason for the reading. And you, crap, two devils. I've seen now. You. I feel like this is you finally coming back. This has been stressful. And finally, a solution's here. Money's in your hand. I really literally feels like money and offer. And um, temperance reversing the devil, two majors, a lot of majors. There is a lot of majors. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, what is that? Why the devil? Capricorn energy. And the sun reverse. Leo energy here. So let's see. July, August, September, October, November. Maybe something started about five months ago and it's finally coming to an end. You know, it just feels like people are pissing you off or the stress or it just feels like this is a long time coming. What is the Eight of Swords reverse in the past? Eight of Swords reverse in the past. Yep, the full reverse. Air signs going on. Ace of Swords reverse. And it feels like if whatever this back here, Eight of Swords reverse is not worried, right? It's finally feeling free. But then the full reverse in Ace of Swords reverse is where the problem began. Something that wasn't a bad, like you were in a good place. I feel like a Capricorn was in a good place. And then this problem happened. It's probably some type of financial problem, something to, to be tied around money. Could be a family situation or dynamic or a job, whatever it is for you. You guys would know how this resonates if it's resonating. And it just feels like, I wanna say five, probably five, six months ago, um, the problem began and you've been chipping away and working at it. And I feel like six of pentacles straight in the reading and then a six of swords. There's our sixes again. Sixes are dynamic and moving forward, right? Then we will have our six of cups and our six of wands. But I feel like you're getting the work out of the way so you can start to play with some money in your pocket, you know? So the Hierophant on your mind, let's go back there. What's the Hierophant? King of Pentacles, uh, Taurus energy right there. What's the Hierophant on your mind? I feel like this is going to be a good payday for a Capricorn. What's the Hierophant on Capricorn's mind? And the, yeah, finally, hi, I'm getting a full Six of Pentacles with this, full Taurus. Then Hangman Reverse. You can finally free yourself from the situation. I feel like it's for good. Three of Wands Reverse, Strength Reverse, and the Near Future Cappies. What is this about? And it's like, okay, yep, Five of Cups Reverse, Scorpio. Five, five of Cups Reverse is no longer having to worry. This feels like something, if you wake up at two in the morning, it, this is on your mind. It, it's this feeling heavy on your chest. It's a problem that needs to be solved, you know? Maybe it's taxes, you know? It, it, it feels like it's something around money. So I do feel like you have money coming in as a relief so you can finally turn your back on this for good, knowing that it's tied up rightly so. Five of Cups reverse is a two and a three of Cups to, for me. What is that? There's the Eight of Cups reverse. Eight of Wands reverse. Four of Wands. I don't think everybody's going to be happy, Capricorn, but it's okay. That's what I got. Four of Wands. They'll live with it. It's that I, I got that with the Eight of Cups reverse and an Eight of Wands reverse. It's never enough for some people. It's just never enough, but it's good enough because I feel like the Ace of Swords is here and there's, there's a, a cutting free, a solution, Six of Pentacles. It's done. I don't know what to tell you. This is it. And it feels like then you could say goodbye. Some of you, this might be a drawn out divorce, you know, and not everybody, both sides will be fully happy, but it's fair. Whatever's fair. That's six of pentacles is about fair. 
So I do feel you have four of wands. You do have happiness. You got five of cups reverse. The eight of cups reverse, eight of wands reverse really feels like not everybody be, be happy, but it's really not your problem. It's not. It's not. So yeah, I do feel like some money's coming your way and Hierophant and Hangman Reverse, I feel like you're going to have a good payday. It just feels like some really good money's coming Capricorn's way. But all right, guys, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you kids later. Take care.